Welcome back to my channel. I am Angela. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Today, I'm doing a perfume collection. 2021 must-have affordable perfumes. I don't have many perfumes. I'm kind of really picky about how I smell. I don't know, I'm sure most women are, but um, I just don't pick it up just because it's the trend or just because it's expensive. It's just what, what I like. So, we're going to get into the video. I am getting hot under all these lights. I do have a new setup and I'm so excited. I'm drinking uh, Sprite with lemons. So, because I knew under all these lights, I am over 40. And whoo. Cheers. Okay, we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna go with the well, I'm not even gonna say cheap or anything. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with what I like. Okay. My signature fragrance, the fragrance that I really love and I'm really loving right now. I know people are like, oh, that is cheap. But no, no, no. No, no, no. It might be cheap, but this I love. As you can see that I have been looking, if I'm looking, if if I look over, it's because I'm looking at myself on the string. I'm trying to make sure that your girl is looking cute, okay? Uh, this is Jessica Simpson's Fancy. Very affordable. I think I got it in a gift set at uh, Belts. Um, if you don't have Belts, it's like um, kind of like a Macy's or something. It's sweet. It's girly. If I can, I'm going to try to find the notes uh, for all these fragrances. And uh, if I don't put them on the string, because I'm just you know, trying to learn all that. If I don't put it on the string, I would definitely put it in the description box. Because I know that that is the you know, ongoing thing. People want to know, know the notes and kind of what they smell like and all of that. But this is sweet. Girly. It is fruity. But it's not a little girl because I normally wear this at night and my hubs, my hus, my no, my honey hubs love it. My honey hubs love it. So Jessica Simpson Fancy. This is my go to when I get out the shower and I'm getting ready to uh, lay down and I know I want to color up with him. I'm going to put on some fancy. Yes. Um, I haven't worn this one in a long time and it, it's not a designer but it is uh, a celebrity. Uh, Kim Kardashian's fragrance. Um, and, I, and when I smell it I understand why I haven't worn it because it does have like musk. And it's, it's kind of, it almost smells unisex. So you could, I'm sure, yeah, I could easily see, because it kind of smells uh, musk and rugged. Like, this will work if you, like, going to work out. I can see that it's holding up for a little bit. I haven't used a lot of it. It might be, like, here. Um... But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. But it's very affordable. And if you want something, you know, with a you know, celebrity brand or whatever, endorsed or celebrity fragrance, this uh, Kim Kardashian is the one to go to. Now, this other celebrity one is closer. Um, it's okay as well. This is Halle Berry fragrance. It, um... Uh, it smells grown, if you will. Like, like again, I'm not really familiar with like the notes and fragrance, but I will try to find out the notes and see what uh what is picking up. And I'm and it's light though. It's light. It's grown. 
it, it does has a, a very classy smell to it so and I want to say I'm trying to find out where did I pick this up at maybe city trend maybe I picked it up at city trend and I say that because a lot of uh, Hallie's stuff is in city trend I'm just finding out that she has a, a workout um, workout products like um, workout uh, wrists and a knee pass and waist trainers and all of that so yeah I think that's where I got it from I think that's where I got it from okay another celebrity fragrance is this Sarah Sarah Jacob Sarah Jessica oh, Sarah Jacobs <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker um lovely that's the name of this one and it's a roll on I'm gonna be smelling like everything when I get through now it smells it's light it's 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 flowery if you it like you know it kind of smell like spring so that what it reminds you of it's light and like every day you can just uh, put this on and just go with it so lovely yeah I hope I'm explaining it to you guys like how you know how like perfume connoisseurs do because. I'm just getting into like a whole lot of perfumes because normally I would be just stuck on one thing and I'm trying to, you know, get into the fashion, get into the beauty, get into the trends and see what's hot and what's not and so I'm trying to figure it out. So we growing together and we hot together. Cheers. Okay, another one of my favorites, um, very affordable fragrance, is the Perry Ellis. This is a real, um, uh, what you call vintage, like old school. Like I've worn uh, this for years. I've and I actually have a bottle. See. I, I want it, you know, I really want it and I do I wear it so oh, it smells so good. It smells so sexy. This is one of Michael's favorites too. He loved Perry Ellis. Yeah, and I'm sure that everybody has heard of Perry Ellis. I'm sure that it's not like a new fragrance that you you haven't heard of now the ones that I just showed you everything that I just showed is stuff that I've tried if I you know if I uh I just showed it to you I've tried it I wear it or I've worn it now all of the ones that I'm gonna show you now is the, some of the new things that I'm just not getting into and that I'm I'm trying or I'm getting ready to try and yeah so I got old stuff old and new so all of these are new and this is DKNY stories uh fruity uh, definitely girly, and um, and you all. When I say girly, I mean like, like the Kim Kim Kardashian's her her fragrance is not really girly. It's it could, like I say, it could be unisex. It doesn't smell bad at all. It just have that musk undertone. And when I say uh, sweet and fruity, you can't put this on a guy. It won't it won't smell like a guy. Oh, that it does. It smells delicious, though. I guess that's you. Can, I guess that's a description for 
a fragrance, but it definitely smells good. It's called DKNY Stories. And again, I'm going to try to find the, the notes in this. Now this, uh, I've worn this a couple of times. I just got it. It is Michael Kors Sparkling Blush. It smells really good too. I know I'm going to, y'all say, y'all, she going to have to wash her arm. Because I got fragrance all over my arm. Um, they say that the coffee bean kind of clears you out when you, you know, smelling. But This kind of smells clean. It's just a clean scent. Um, very fresh. Very strong. But it's clean. It's uh, not like overpowering. But it's like. Ooh. You just got out the shower. Ooh. You smell good. Ooh. It's just like that rush. That hint of a good clean fragrance. And this, this is what this is. Michael Kors. The next one is Eternity for Women, uh, Calvin Klein. And I don't have to say women because Calvin Klein has a lot of eternities. And uh, they have for men too. My uh, my husband's uh, favorite is uh, Eternity Blue, the aqua. It smells divine on him. And I always try to keep that uh, for him. Now, have I worn this? I'm not sure. Um, it got just a hint of musk. It got just a hint of musk, but it is it will can't be unisex. So if you understand, it got musk, it got flowers, and you know all the um all the lady stuff. This smells like a lady. Yeah, that's what I would describe this. It's it's very much a lady fragrance. Mhm. Mm Eternity moments, Kevin Klein. Um, next up, I got two uh, Mark Jacobs. Uh, let's do this one. This one is Mark Jacob Rain. Um, it's okay. When I first uh, smelled, I'm like, mm, that smells good. Oh, it reminds me of something. Let me turn this light around. So maybe you can see me a little better. I glow, honey. I glow. Um, it kind of reminds me of always oh, on a tip. Have y'all heard of a, that fragrance? It's an old fragrance called Cool Water or something. It kind of smells like that. This is definitely not a favorite of mine. Yeah, it kind of this that, this could be unisex too. Um, I'm trying and and it says but but it do it kind of smells like water and aqua, and I'm trying to think what the undertones would be. But I'm going the notes. I'm trying to think what the notes would be. But I'm definitely gonna look it up and look into it. Mark Jacobs rain and I got two small Mark Jacobs. I won um a lady on YouTube. If I think of her name, I'll put it I'll put it on the screen. I can't think of her name. I won a Sephora gift card and I bought Mark Jacobs Daisy and Daisy Love. These just two little miniature fragrance. Again, I'm just trying to kind of start into the fragrance community and see what it's all about. Because I do. Your girl loves to smell good. I like to be oiled down. I like to be greased up. I like to be lotioned down. I like to be fragrance. And I, sometimes I even like to layer. You know, like some fragrances take, for instance... Um, Jessica Simpson's Fancy, it came with um, the shower gel, it came with the body lotion, and it came with the fragrance. And I like to layer up. How many of y'all like to do that? I like to give sense. I like to give sense because sometimes I like to layer it up 
and getting that I just be smelling yummy to myself now these are kind of sweet Daisy and both of them are kind of really similar definitely uh, girly they kind of like a little girl fragrance to me um but I just uh, keep them just you know to kind of keep my collection you know feeling like it's is doing something like I'm kind of really building up my collection so yeah but that's uh I like those um this one is Jimmy Choo I just got this one what is this I don't think I don't I forgot the name of it and I can't see that little writing on there but I'm going to have all of these. In the description box. But I love the bottle. Love the packaging. That bottle is beautiful. It's like. How you got. Um, This smells earthy, real earthy, real green. Uh, what's that? I want to give you the name of this. Let me let me get my let me get my glasses. I want to give you the name. I don't want to. I want. I don't want to not give you the name of this fragrance. And look, my glass is about cricket. It don't say on. Um, it don't say on the label. And I. And I had the. I threw the box away. I wonder why the. The name is not on here, but I have it in the description box. I apologize for that, guys. I apologize for that. Okay, last but certainly not least is this new one that I got for my birthday. This is the Versace. 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 Versace yellow diamond and see this all of them have the name on the bottle But I wonder why this one don't have the name. I'm conflicted <laughs> Yellow diamond my daughter got this one for my birthday And uh, I've been wearing it Classy lady uh, Summary Rich lady. Going to pick up my poodle from the uh from the uh the groomer. Just deposit my ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollar check. Headed to afternoon tea kind of smell. <laughs> you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment don't forget to like hit that like button hit that like button comment 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 and hit that like button and share share the love share the laughter whatever you do love God love people serve God serve people I'll see you in the next video bye Cheers.